If it's so hard holding number sequences in your short-term memory, it's not surprising we struggle at the cash point days later. But help is at hand with eight times world memory champion, Dominic O'Brien. Welcome, Dominic. Nice to see you. Now, you're an expert at improving people's memory for numbers, so that's going to put you to a bit of a test. Oh, right. right. Okay. What I'm going to do is to give you a, a, a 20 digit number sequence, which I'd like you to repeat. You'll hear it now. Two, zero, three, four, nine, seven, two, one, three, five, six, seven, four, eight, nine, one, nine, three, zero, seven. What do you think? Okay, I'll have a go. Two, zero, three, four, uh, nine, seven, two, one, is that correct? Yep. Three, five, six, seven, four, eight, nine, one, nine, three, zero, seven. Well done. <laughs> you impressed? I think he did rather well, don't you? Yeah, and, and you know, some people struggle just as we saw with seven digit numbers. Yeah, the trouble with numbers is they don't mean anything in isolation. So if you take the number, like a nine digit number, 213964102, it sounds horrendous. But if you break it down into chunks, like uh, 213964102, it's more palatable. That's all right for short term memory, but if you want to transfer it to your long term memory, I break it down into pairs of numbers and I'd make up a story. Okay. So, for example, 21 of the first two digits. Imagine a, it's your right. 21st birthday, you've got a key to a door, there's a key to a tower, a mysterious tower. And as you go up the steps, you notice there are 39 steps. It's from the film, 39 steps. You also, what comes into your head is a tune, When I'm 64, The Beatles. Think about that. When you get to the top of the tower, you see Tony Blair from number 10 Downing Street. Now a swan, which has the number shape of two, swoops down and carries him off into the clouds forever and ever. Now you remember that story. Get a free trial of the world's best scientific brain games at www.getbraingames.com.